Hello everybody, so Walty Walty is back. I have a match in my uh, Lilith's Pixie. Uh, I haven't ran in this in a while, so it felt good to run it. Uh, I forgot to change up my uh, quick swaps, so I think my scythe is on circle, so I'm always flubbing up. I flub up my weapon swaps in the beginning of the match quite a bit because I'm not, because usually if I have uh, my sabers on a triangle, I usually like to have my scythe on X so I can, uh, you know, my other gun on circles, stuff like that. So I flub up my weapon swap quite a bit here. So uh, for those who don't know, the Lilith's Pixie comes from Code Fairy. It's just an upgraded prototype Pixie. She ended up using the initial type Pixie, which absolutely had no boost to it. <laughs> he had enough, essentially, to dodge roll, and that was about it. Uh, otherwise, it played exactly like the standard Pixie. Uh... But yeah, so uh, eventually she ends up getting her pixie upgraded to this, uh, which gives her access to two beam sabers, unlike the daggers of the original pixie. Uh, and then they also uh, give her the uh, gym striker equipment uh, from her gym ground type. And then also give her uh, the full armor Gundam's uh, little left-handed uh, buckler shield. So, she's, she's relatively kitted out. She's also got the Gym Command's uh, beam gun, too. So, yeah, she's... Her suit was kitted out. It's meant to get in, go Unka Bunga, say no you, uh, and you, you, you just take it. And that's how it is. That's how her suit was built. Uh, it's an extremely powerful raid at 500. Uh... It does not have stealth like the standard pixie. A lot of people seem to uh, think it do. Because I've noticed a lot of people who take this suit out tend to play it like it does have stealth. And it does not. You can't play this like a stealth raid. It doesn't work. You kind of ha You really have to go uh, full frontal. Well, not full frontal. But that dude's a fucking idiot. Uh, you need to go... You need to go in with this suit. You, you need to be front lining with your generals, uh, and they can front line. Just don't take any hits because it's it's on, it is on the squishy side. But it does it definitely has a lot more survivability than the standard pixie, uh, and that helps it. It's just uh, its amount of weaponry allows it to stay in the fight. It allows it to. Uh, really just rack up some gross damage compared to the standard pixie uh, and it just shows it just shows how far that the standard pixie has fallen like it the standard pixie needs help and that's kind of upsetting because lore wise the pixies again as I said the other uh, other week uh, the pixie is lore wise an extremely powerful mobile suit and you know BB studios has done that suit extremely dirty. But, uh, at least we got this one. Uh, you can get this suit by beating Code Fairy, I think, on normal hard. Um, yeah, on normal mode. And, uh, uh, yeah. I think it's Chapter 2 you get this suit, or Chapter 3, I can't remember. Chapter 2, because Chapter 3 you get the Titania. Uh, but yeah, no, this suit's fucking... You, you can do you can do some fuck up uh, fucked up shit with this suit. Uh, now I'm thinking about it. I need to run my Titania. I haven't run that thing in a really long time. Now I'm thinking about it. But uh, I've seen people run the standard scythe or the the spear mode with it. I have personally not run it that way. Uh, I don't like usually when I see people with that weapon I, I don't see them normally on the board at all you're really giving up the pixie's hardest hitting weapon because it gets a really huge damage modifier when it's using the scythe mode uh i think it's damage modifier is almost uh four to uh, 400 to 500 percent if i'm not mistaken uh the so it's it's kind of weird people would give up that damage modifier just for a smidgen 
For I know you get multiple swings with it, but like this down swing on the scythe is too good to pass up. Uh, I mean, you you see some of the numbers I'm doing just on the down swing, even on a neutral to another uh, little pixie. It's I'm doing fat damage. So to to give that up for just slightly better range is kind of weird to me. Uh, what is this? The enemy team also got oh it's that gold baldy again. Uh, yeah, after a while he kind of started targeting me. He's like, I don't like this man's. But um, yeah, this pixie this the suit's good. Um, uh, a lot of people are not or do say that the code fairy is not worth it. I felt it was worth it. You know, all the additional mobile suits you can unlock for GBO. Um, everybody's saying the the button read counters. The only the only suit to ever counter me is the Pixie. <laughs> uh, Lilith was the only only person to actively tackle me. So I don't I don't know where everybody's saying that like, everybody tackled like and the like the only one that tackled again was Lilith. No one else. Well, I think Mia tackled me once, but that's it. Like after that, you know they're gonna tackle, so all you gotta do is just shoot them, break their legs, bait the tackle, because they will tackle the moment you get close with the beam uh, beam saber, because they can't dash or dodge roll. Oh, they can dodge roll, but they can't dash anymore. So their their only means to not get hurt is to tackle. And so you just bait the tackle, and there you go. It's it's a done deal. So easy peasy. Uh, you gotta alert. Like you just gotta be smarter than the AI, and that's not hard to do. You just gotta, uh, you know, be stupid like a bot. And like, well, they're you took away their only dodging man, uh, option, and that leaves just the one that's not gonna fuck them up in the long run. So you you go with the bait and switch and. You win. Uh, that's just how, it, just how it is. <laughs> uh, if you guys want to see what Code Fairy is like, you can check down. You can check in the playlists. I do have that. Uh, me, Viz, and I think a few others uh, join. I think Clav did, but Clav doesn't like me anymore, and he doesn't join. Uh, he doesn't join my uh, streams or anything. He doesn't even talk to me, and that makes me sad, Panda. I really do miss Clav, but he hates me now, so. Uh, but yeah, like I, I like the I like this suit for what it is. Uh, I don't know if I like this more or the uh, Titania more, though. I I find it easier to run this suit over the Titania. I've noticed I do better in this suit. Um, I think it's mainly because I'm I've never been good with a long rifle, the Jaeger's rifle on the Titania. Uh. And it seems everybody ignores my bazooka shots when I'm running the Titania, so they just like, yeah, you shot me, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ignore it. That's what really usually happens when I run the Titania. But yeah, that's my match in the Pixie uh, today. I'm gonna be working on everybody's requests and stuff. Uh, I meant to do it yesterday, but I ended up getting really tired and uh, hanging out with uh, Viz playing EDF most of the day, so. Mm. UBF is fun, stupid, but fun. Let's take a look at the patrons. We have Brennan Markey, Shipper, Asriel, Dragon Spartan, Nanny, Good Nuggers, Jeff Dunn, Clav, Maverick, Momica, Peter Strike, Oni Savage, Adam, Sue Souls, Alimo, Steel Talon, Minty, Robo, Talamaeus, Phantom OC, Viscarian, Xenacost, Michael, Bryson. Not Michael anymore, I keep forgetting that. I need to get Mysteries, Mercenary, and Michael removed. Uh, Michael, Bryson. Fuck, not Michael, Bryson, Claudio, Christopher, uh, Crusader, Serena, Leo, Kokoko, Zanic Shadow, NJ Bean, Strader, Rand Hero, Destroyer, Sean, Lupin, Deadwood, David, and Sopla Aki. I want to thank you guys for supporting me. It means a lot, and we shall talk to you guys later.